November 9, 2011. Update use on this four tank. We have tested the water, the pH, the nitrate, the phosphate, uh, calcium, magnesium, everything here. Yeah? And this is the Berlin system, Polaris system, Ecosystem Plus, and Ecosystem. Right now, what we're trying to do here is to prepare all the aquarium here so we can start adding coral to start the experiment. And what you see here is Christopher, my second son, is siphoning the detritus that settle at the bottom of the tank. To remove as much as possible all the nutrients before we add any coal later. Uh, we are going to take five gallon of, of water here and replace it with the salt water, our own brand. Um, and we will do this every week by gallon after this next Friday we're going to do the same thing so again everything here is identical uh, each tank has 30 pounds of live rock in there the eight crates the light each has a 250 watt mill hair light, Rusho brand, 20,000K. Um, the only difference here, which is the different filtration system that we use, that we compare. We are not going to add any calcium supplement additive vitamins. We only do 5 gallon water chain a week in a 60 gallon tank here to supply calcium, the mineral that the corals need. Today is November 27, 2011. Hi, is everyone? This is Lane, and I'm the updating you. For this four reef aquarium, everything's identical. From the light that we use, 20,000 K, 250 watt Usho lamb, to the volume of water, to the coral, to the fish that we add in here. We have finished adding all the coral for this tank on November 26, 2011. This tank, run by the Berlin system with a protein skimmer, and on the left hand side, that's the phosphate activated carbon reactor. And this will be our control <laughs> experimental tank to all of this four tanks. So everything here, from animal, fish, blue tang, yellow tang, four acid snail, one peppermint shrimp, 11 different coral, the placement of coral, they're all the same. The only difference is the filtration system method that we use in here. So here is the Berlin tank. And here is what's known as the Paletta 
method system. Protein schema run 24 hours a day. Plus the refusion with Miracle Mutt. And this tank is what we call Ecosystem Plus. Protein schema is only run 6 hours a day on the timer. Plus Ecosystem Miracle Mutt. And this last tank is strictly what we call ecosystem method with no protein skimmer as you can see strictly just the miracle mud refusion and here is uh, the coral we keep we have two soft coral green polyp devil's hand and green finger we also have two large polyp stony, Acan and Duncan from Australia. For SPS, we have red Capricornus, purple nana. In the middle to the back, that's what people claim is Lancey's. Capricornus. In the middle is Oregon Blue Tort. In front is the Mandapura Setosa. To the right, this is the Slimy Green Bali. And the back right here is the Red Planet. So all the corals are in place, all the fish are in place, everything is in place. and. The compare, study, experiment begin. What we're looking for, the goal is to find now what system among this four different systems that would give us the best growth, the best color and most important, the health of the fish and coral. So stay tuned for our update. December 18, 2011. I'd like to update you again with this four identical tank reef aquarium that uh, utilize different filtration system, the ecosystem method to the right, and the ecosystem plus. And uh, the third one is we call the letter system and the bourbon system and um, everything seemed doing well all the coral, all the fish and I'm going to try to close up here so you can see so this tank is uh, in the bourbon system. And here is the Paletta system. Protein skimmer plus refusion with 10 pound of miracle mud. Everything is doing well. And here's Ecosystem Plus tank. Refusion with 10 pound of Miracle Mud plus protein skimmer that runs about 6 hours a day on a timer. And here's just Ecosystem, no protein skimmer.
But what I kind of notice is that of all this four tank, the one run by strictly ecosystem method has less algae growing on the three sides of the aquarium. Intentionally, we do not clean the size of the aquarium except the front panel so we can view the course and the fish and also take picture. And also the light on the ecosystem class kind of a little more red and that's the second light bulb that uh, I had to replace and I talked to the manufacturer to make the uh, reflector and the balance and well they claim is the uh, the light bulb but when we put the light bulb in this Usho 20,000K 250 watt it's all blue identical to everyone else but after install two weeks then uh, the light become a little red again so I'm convinced that this is the problem with the ballast that dry but what I see here what I really care most is the core so uh, it, it does not show any uh, problem to the core so I'm, I'm gonna leave as that.